Okay, this question tells us to explain each of the following statements using supply and demand diagrams. A. When a cold snap hits Florida, the price of orange juice uh, orange juice rises in supermarkets throughout the country. So we um, let's take a look at this basic um, supply and demand curve. So now uh, before the cold snap hurts, we have this equilibrium here. But because of the cold snap, the oranges might um, uh, fall off or um, we do not have a very good orange harvest in that year. So what happens to orange juice? Because um, we, we made orange juice by oranges. So the supply of orange juice might decrease. So it goes to the left. Because we have fewer oranges to make orange juice now. So the new equilibrium here has a higher price, like comparing to the original price. Now this P prime is higher. That is why um, the price of orange juice rises in supermarkets. Okay, B, when the weather turns warm in New England every summer, the price of hotel rooms in Caribbean resorts plummets. Um, so now we need a new um, diagram. Um, so we, again, we draw a supply and demand curve. We have to be sure that we always put Q on the x-axis and then P on the y-axis. And then the supply and demand curve looks like this. Demand is negative slope and the supply is positive slope. Um, so now the weather is really warm and then, um, sorry, what happened? And the price of hotel rooms in Caribbean resorts plummets. So why is that? Because the weather is nice, so everyone wants to go for a vacation. So in this problem, it is the demand curve that moves. It moves up because everyone wants to go to um, vacation. So the number of tourists increase. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention that this P here is like the price of hotel rooms, the resorts and um, the plane tickets or something. So when everyone wants to go for a vacation, we have a higher demand, but the supply is fixed. So this is going to result in a higher price. So also the price of hotel rooms are getting higher comparing to the um, let's use original equilibrium in color red comparing to the old price. So this is like um, it's always more expensive to go out in uh, on holidays because there are lots of people out there. Okay, question C. Let's create another new page. Okay, when a war breaks out in the Middle East, the price of gasoline rises and the price of a used Cadillac falls. So we have to think that what is the effect of a war to the oil price? Uh, so let's um, draw a new diagram here. So the war is going to maybe like destroy the pop pipelines and then making uh, the gasoline even harder to distribute to local area. So have this idea in mind, we know that the supply of gasoline decrease because maybe it was destroyed or it's harder to pump out the oil when the war is going on because of lack of um, labor. So we know that the price of the oil will, like the previous A and B questions, the oil will goes up. The, uh, the, the price of the oil will goes up. But what happened to the price of a used Cadillac? We know that um, this used car is um, is a car that 
consumes oil. So for consumers, we, they know that it is more pricey to drive a car since the price of the oil goes up. So people tend to take maybe take public transportation or by walking they can save money because they do not want to consume this oil for their car. So the price of the car so the price of the car say um P car P car goes down because this it is more costly to drive a car so this phenomenon indicates that oil and car are complements o i l oh sorry 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 no 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 it should be all oil so oil and cars are complements because you cannot use one without the other well well you cannot use a car without oil so if it is pricey to buy oil it is costly to use a car so you may not want to buy a car that often so in the car market the price of the car goes down <laughs>